welcome again to Educator.com and this time we are going to continue with our transitions for particular types of organization and we will be going over in the future chronological and on the other hand compare and contrast. Chronological. First came the chicken. Next, next a chicken laid the egg. For a long period of time the egg was warmed. Finally, out of that little egg, a new baby chicken was born. Chronological is really simple. It's, it's kind of a big word, but it starts with this one. Chrono or chronos. It is a Greek word that means time. So I can bet you can guess how chronological organizes its essays. So the purpose of a chronological organization is to describe a series of events or developments in the order that they happened. You don't want to describe them backward, backwards, that's just kind of silly. Also, because all stories take place in kind of a time sequence, you can also summarize the events of a story using chronological organization. And you can describe the causes of another event in time. So, uh, I had coffee this morning, I boiled water first. That's an example of a cause. We'll be going cause and effect over in the next lesson, so just keep that in mind for now. Typically, if you're dedicating an entire essay to chronological organization, you're going to do one major event per paragraph. And so, you'll be dividing up your chronological essays into one, two, three events most of the time. But I'm here to tell you, just like with listing, you can break the rules when you need to. Now, I bet you guys also can remember from the summarizations that we do still have these three acts. So, we'll review it right now. First off, when you're doing a story and you're summarizing the events in a story, try to stick again with this Hollywood three act. First act, introduce the main character and other characters and the conflict. Then, act two, escalates the conflict and move towards the climax. Act, two, act 3, you resolve the climax and show the results. Now, I'm going to go over my summary of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and I'm going to highlight a couple keywords for you.